So after this goes through Relu, we will have zero zero for our output. Hi, my name is Anna Ron, and I'm helping Professor Tamya teach deep learning. So, today we're going to be talking about multilayer perceptrons, which is a type of feed-forward neural network. Don't be intimidated by how many different things we have going on in our diagram here. Um, we've talked about all of the building blocks in previous videos. So, we can see that we have the input matrix here, and the output matrix here. We have six hidden layers, which just represent layers in between the input and output matrix. Um, and we talked before about how we can stack our matrices on top of each other to calculate all the way through our hidden layers. We also have a batch of two inputs um, that we can see. And for simplification purposes, we're going to assume that our activation function is ReLU, just like we have been using in previous videos, and we're going to assume that the biases of all nodes are zero. So let's get started filling in some of the blanks here. In hidden layer one, we can see that we have a blank here. So we're going to multiply this column by this row. I can see from this weight that we're looking for the second value of the input, which is four. All right, so our hidden layer one is now complete. Let's move on to hidden layer two. Here's the blank, and it'll be this column and this row. So that's five plus four equals nine, minus three is six. Now in hidden layer three, we will look at the column here in hidden layer two and this row in weight three. So that is two minus seven is negative five. Let's remember that our activation function is ReLU. In all of these um, values for hidden layers one and two, we had all positive values, so we didn't need to change anything. But for hidden layer three, this negative five is going to become zero. So let's just er erase it and replace it with a zero. For hidden layer 4, we will look at this column in hidden layer 3, multiplied by the bottom row of weights in weight matrix 4, so that is 8 minus 5 is 3. Alright, for hidden layer 5, that is this column and this row, so we can see the value is 3. And then for hidden layer 6, it's this column and this row. So that is 16 minus 9 is 7. And for the output, that's 1 minus 5, which is negative 4. And that is 7 minus 25, which is negative 18. So after this goes through ReLU, we will have 0, 0 for our output. So that's the end of the calculation that we do here. We've gotten a value for our output node. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought, and I hope that this was a helpful explanation.